Good morning, everybody. It is now about uh, 9.43 in the morning on my end, and I am on my way to heading down to Josie Records in Dallas, Texas, namely because it is record store day and literally the day after my birthday, and I figured why not head down there and check out and see if there's any sort of exclusives or whatnot that are worth picking up. I do know of a couple of things that should be out right now, namely the Dune soundtrack and the Army of Darkness soundtrack on vinyl. I want to pick those up, but I'm not like, I'm not 100% certain if they're going to be in stock or whatnot. And just in case if things don't work out with those record store drops, I do have a couple of things on backup that I would like to pick up. So we're just going to have to mosey on down to Josie Records to see what happens. And I'm honestly looking forward to it because this will actually be my first time walking into the place. So yeah, I figured I'd do a vlog video for this one. I see, hope you guys come along with me and enjoy the ride. Okay, well, I guess that's what I get for not showing up early enough. Yeah, apparently there was a whole bunch of people packed out here around 7 in the evening last night, and uh, there was no way in Sim Hill that I was going to be able to get down here fast enough, especially when I was done streaming that night. But, all was not lost. While I didn't get Dune or the uh, Army of Darkness soundtrack, apparently those sold out really fast. I did manage to find some things within Josie Records that I was like, oh, you know what? I'm actually legitimately excited about this and I want to give it a go. So I managed to find at least three records and just to make this clear, they're not video game soundtracks, although I did order a couple of those online just for today, but I'll get to those in a moment. Anyways, let me just show you guys what I picked up and I apologize for the noise or what uh, rustling. So yeah, I picked up three records and I figured it's like, okay, I want to have like a mix of genres and whatnot, so I thought why not go ahead and get like three very different genres from three very different artists. So I decided, I was like, okay, here we go. This is going to be the first one I picked up, and I found this one not too long ago, is The Best of Sade. Now, I started listening to Sade mainly because of Jared New of Vinylize, and I remember him mentioning going to this same record store with Josie Records and finding this album, but he mentioned it was a little bit overpriced for his liking, but since, frankly speaking, on the secondary market, Shade's records are getting a little bit more expensive, I was like, well, it was either pay this much for a best of compilation, and thankfully it's got no ordinary love on it, which, let's be real, that, that song is just, mm, chef, mm, chef's kiss, that's a magnificent song. This one I had to pick up, and I was like, well, it's it's either this or just pay absorbent prices on the secondary market, but I actually do like Sade. I think she's a fantastic singer, and I love the music that she basically creates, and I, I absolutely adore it. Now, this is the only one I managed to save from my Record Store Day haul, and that is Retropolitan. Now, I will admit this right now. I'm not the hugest fan of rap. I, I tend to find 
the genre that it doesn't really speak to me that much in, in terms of subject matter and terms of tone, but in terms of the actual instrumentation when I can actually hear it and it's not just a bunch of mumbling word vomit essentially, I actually do like it. It's There's some of it that can hit with me, that can work, and I like it. But it's just a matter of like, well, it's it's very hit and miss. But this one I was like, okay, so this is an instrumentals version of an existing rap album. So I, while I do love, I I'm hit and miss with rap. I love instrumentals. I was like, okay, well maybe I'll give this a shot. So this, I will admit, is kind of a bit of a blind purchase. I've not listened to much of. It. I've listened to the songs, some of the songs from this album but I've not listened to the instrumental versions of it because I don't think they're on Spotify right now, but if they're on like that or Pandora or some other means, then I'll definitely listen to it, but I figured why not take a chance on this record and see what people think about, or see what I think about it. But yeah, I'm, I'm honestly looking forward to it. I've heard it's uh, it's actually pretty good. And I actually talked with one of the shop owners and he mentioned that it was like, oh yeah, Pete Rock's actually really good. Uh, also, apologize if you can hear my car rumbling and the AC roaring because it is freaking hot right now uh, anyways now this this is the one album that's just like I have to get at least one classic album in here I have to do it and I tried looking all over for Eagle stuff I tried over looking for Fleetwood Mac for Asia for Journey and I couldn't find anything or even Boston in there I was like I just couldn't find anything but I did manage to find a heavy metal album and it's a really good one and that is a definite classic. It is accepts balls to the wall. Now I picked this up purely because a I didn't own it already, obviously, and to, and b I remember watching Razor Fists or the Rachel Holics video regarding accepts retrospective. And ever since then, I started listening to their music, specifically their early uh, '80s fare, such as Balls to the Wall and Metal Heart as well as uh, Breaker, and I thought it was, or uh, Restless and Wild, and I just fell in love with their music. I was like, this is awesome. This is the kind of metal that I can get into because I can actually understand what's being said, and there's actually kind of an interesting subject matter with each of the songs. It's almost like it's kind of telling a story, and that's the kind of music, when it comes to metal, that I actually do like. It's one where the lyrics are actually go here. I'm not really big into screamer metal or death metal. It's just, I've tried looking at stuff like Candlemas and Dark Throne, uh, but it's just, it, it just doesn't do anything for me. I just, or, or Gog McGroth, I just, it just doesn't do anything for me. But metal, but except Judas Priest, Black Sabbath, all those classic acts, yes, that works really well for me. I actually did find some Black Sabbath in there, namely uh, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, and Master Reality, but I was like, yeah, don't get me wrong. I know they're classics, but I wanted to get one an album that I actually know that I do like. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure that there's no one walking behind me. But yeah, I just wanted to pick up Except Balls to the Wall because this one is, from what I can understand, is one of Except's best releases and one of the, and probably their best record today. And I just didn't have it. Plus, it's on 180 gram vinyl, which I think is a massive plus for it. I'm actually really excited to put this on the turntable. Just listening to some of the tracks on this again, like L London Leather Boys or Head Over Heels or, of course, the title track, Balls of the Wall, is fantastic. So, yeah, these are the those are the records that I picked up over here. And since, um, and since I mentioned the video game vinyl, I actually did pick up two releases, but I got those from Limited Runs Record Store Day Sale. And those two are Vivid Ribbon on white vinyl, which is a PS1 soundtrack, and the second one, and I was a little bit hesitant on doing this, mainly because I knew, I, I didn't know like, what the price of it was on the secondary market, but I picked up also Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. So in total, I picked up five vinyl for this Record Store Day release, but yeah, that I will admit, I'm a little disappointed that I didn't get a chance to get the Dune soundtrack or the Army of Darkness soundtrack because I was honestly looking really forward to those. But and when I think about it, it's like, you know what? I can get the Dune soundtrack on Disc Kongs. I can get Army of Darkness on Disc Kongs. It won't be that difficult to actually get a hold of. I just wanted to get the colored variations of the records and see what I could find. I actually did enjoy my time going in through Josie Records. It looks really cool. I like the record store. It's a generally open plan. I like how everything's sort of sorted. But I will admit, that record door day exclusive section, that thing was almost picked clean. I'm surprised that I was able to get Retropolitan the way that I was. 
So yeah, those are my pickups from Record Store Day. I'm honestly very excited with it, and I'm pleased to get these records and I put them on the turntable. I'm I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah, I just wanted to share you my Record Store Day experience. So yeah, word of advice: if you ever decide to do this again, get here early because uh, apparently people who come here they camp out like around 7 p.m. the night before it starts. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull that off, but. I will definitely see if I can get here a little bit earlier, or just better yet, just not sleep the night before. But either way, I just wanted to share my experience with you guys. I hope to see you guys later, and until next time, take care.